Hi everybody, welcome to Serenity Cards and Coaching, 12 Weeks to a Wow Christmas with Leela. My name is Leela Meinke, and you can find me at leelameinke.com. I'm Leela, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I love, I love, love, love to make cards and to share stuff with you guys. So if you go to leelameinke.com, you can get on my email and on my email list, I'm currently going through 12 Weeks to a Wow Christmas with Leela, and I'm sending out free PDFs every single week with a free video every single week. And we are in week nine. So we've been doing basically batches of four. We did one round of a card, a bag, a box, and something fun, a card, a bag, a box, and something fun. And now we're back to cards, and then we have a fun bag, box, and something fun after that. So the cards today, even though this is 12 weeks to a wow Christmas, I feel like this is wow impact, easy to make. And so we're going to uh, make a couple of them tonight. If you subscribed, if you signed up for the kit, I have an accompanying kit that goes for all 12 weeks. You guys in the kit, I do all the die cutting, all the scoring for all of the items. And so your kit would include tags, course you stamp them yourself um but uh it includes card bases envelopes etc this is actually the checklist this is a peek behind the curtain these are all the die cuts that i give you so i very systematically go through and check them all off that i've got them all including all these little fireplace pieces and then here's um all the 12 different projects Magnets, brads, I give you cocoa, spoons, mints, a full pack of designer series paper, a whole roller ribbon, a full pack of gems. And so anyway, it's I have one left. One, 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 one left. So um, you can see the information below if you want to get the kit. It's not too late to get it and to make this stuff for Christmas, but we're getting close. So let's get to the making of the card. This card, I've done it a couple different ways. I've got one that's one and a half inch strip and one that's a two and a half inch strip and I kind of like it both ways. So I'll make mention of it in the PDF. You can um, do it either way, but this is with the Mary and Bright suite. And so, um, well, it's with the Mary and Bright designer series paper and then the sending cheer stamp set. Now, if you get on my email, not only do you get the PDF, you get information about amazing deals. This stamp set and dies that I've been using for the entire series is 40% off. 40% off the stamps, 40% off the dies. Amazing deal. So if you get on my email, you get all that information. You'll also get the PDF for making this card. We've been using Merry and Bright. I've done um, kind of whimsical and I've done kind of traditional. So because I have not made this card yet, in the traditional, it's the traditions of Saint Nick. We're going to make this card, for the first card, using the traditions of Saint Nick. So in your kit, or if you're following along at home, you cut a basic white thick card base, eight and a half by five and a half, score it four and a half, um, eight and a half by five and a half, score it four and a quarter. Then we're going to have another layer. I love the look of white on white. So we've got another layer, four by five and a quarter. You get that in your kit and the envelope as well. And then this guy is one and a half by four. I told you I also have cut some to two and a half by four. So we'll um, play with the one and a half right now. So uh, I've got all my papers. I've got Gingy that I'm going to use. And what I'm using is the Sending Cheer die. And I'm going to use the colors that match the traditions of St. Nick designer series paper. Isn't this so fun? You guys, next week, the bag I'm going to show you uses this um, hot cocoa. And it's a cocoa, it's a bag for putting hot cocoa in. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you that bag. It is so cute. It's a swag bag that we used at a retreat. I have an annual retreat every July in Oklahoma. And so we use that there. Um, it was super fun. So I'm getting my confetti stamped and I'm just kind of doing it willy nilly off to the left and I'm going to do it in all the few different colors. I'm excited about this guy. We're doing a reveal right here. I haven't actually seen it. Uh, I haven't actually, it's, I've only seen it in my mind's eye, I guess I will tell you. 
So we'll see how this goes. Get this clean. I don't want to intermix. It's the same stamp, but I don't want to intermix my colors, right? So, all right, so I've got my confetti off to the left. And while I'm stamping and while I have my ink pads open, I think I'm gonna take Sending Cheer and I'm gonna put it in red in the bottom corner right there. And there we go. All right, let's get these guys closed for now. I did already stamp Gingy and his little face. So cute. So, so darling. And I've got my DSP cut to one and a half by four. So let's go ahead. Isn't this side so pretty too? Oh my gosh. Like ever, it, like one side is, well, there's traditional Santa, there's hot cocoa, and then um, on the other side, it's kind of a Baroque look. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get that right about in the middle, I think. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue white on white to the front of the card. This card is so much fun. I did it in a class also. And I had other cards too, but the students started out with the ones with the tags and they just had so much fun with the tags that, um, I mean, we got to all the cards, but they started out with the ones with the tags and they had so much fun and loved it. Okay, so we've got that there and now we're gonna put Gingy just kind of right there. Oh my gosh, so cute. So, but before I do that, I want to put some twine. Now the kit doesn't come with twine. I was asked about that. I just kind of assume people have some staples in their craft room and twine is definitely one of them. Twine, snips, adhesives. I feel like these are all things that we must, must have. So um, I'm using... Our basics, our basic essentials twine comes with like five colors. There's basic white, crumb cake, black, there's a gray, and a vanilla. So awesome. So I've got that kind of, I feel like I don't need it so long. Now this will be the fun part. We're going to, well, I guess I'll use tiny little glue dots to get these tiny little hearts. Now, there's a stamp. Okay, I'm gonna do something because I know I only need a tiny little bit of glue. So I'm gonna take my Take Your Pick tool and um, I'm just gonna get ahead of any issues, right? I'm gonna get ahead of, um, there was a lot of glue right there and even then it was just a little dot but I made it go a little bit wide, a little bit, spread it a little bit further. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, so that's the thing about these guys, they're not self-adhesive, they're just rolled through with a die cut machine and it's just cardstock. There is a stamp, so I could have chosen to stamp. I don't think, this would fit on little baby dimensionals. That would have been a fun thing. Oh gosh, you guys, my hands. All right, here we go. I made sure I had all my dies over here today. Everything all laid out so we could get to it. Look how sweet. And then we've got this little bow tie and I could either use the bow tie as a bow tie or I can do it as like a little kind of headpiece. So, um, or I could just leave it like that. I think I'm not even going to use it. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to bring her. Oh, you know what? Let's see. I brought out all of the things. I think I'm going to put that right there. So, um, so when I mass produce, I kind of like to bring all the things over and then just mix and match and just see whimsically what I feel like doing. But I'm going to take my mini glue dot and I'm gonna put it right up here. I'm gonna put my bow, give her a little snip. Oh my gosh, sweet little girl. I love this Gingy. Okay, let's get our little bow snipped like 
like so. Oopsie, it's a little bit stuck. Let's get her on dimensionals. And then I'll show you some variations that I did with the other cards, but I feel like I feel like I could just put her kind of right in the middle, right by the hot cocoa and Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. How sweet is that? I could add a couple little gems if I want. They say less is more, but I think more is more. I'm gonna add some little gems over here. You get gems in the kit too. And, uh, let's see, I don't know, right about here. All right. There's our sweet little card. Oh my gosh, is she precious. I could have put them on the hearts too. Anyway, there you go. We can put a little decoration on the inside if we want, a little more confetti, a little ho, ho, ho. Let's just do a little ho, 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 I think, on the inside. Uh, and then we'll call that guy good. And then we'll do, if I've got it, we'll do a two and a half inch with the Merry and Bright. Okay, there's our little ho-ho. I've been really making it a point to do the insides and the envelopes this season. So there we have it, super cute. All right, okay, now let's do one more and which pattern do we wanna pick? So that's two and a half and the stripes are two and a half. Let's do the circle at two and a half. Okay, all right. So same thing, I've got my card base, I've got my basic white, and I've got my designer series paper, two and a half by four. We'll do some house cleaning, get some of this stuff out of the way. And I'm gonna bring some different colors over for the confetti. I've got lemon lime twist, poppy parade, crushed curry, and blueberry bushel. I'm gonna clean off my confetti. I'm gonna start with my lightest color, so I work my way light to dark. So if I happen to make a little boo-boo and get a little bit of ink, um, oopsie, get a little bit of ink, then, um, oh, I know I got it too wet. Come on, honey. If I get a little bit of ink on it, like let's say a little bit of the green carried over and I was going into the red, um, that wouldn't be as bad as if the red got into the green, but we don't want either. So, and we're not going green. We're going to go yellow next. We're going to go crushed curry. I have really had a good time. You know, people have been saying our, um, catalog period is different. So this holiday mini has gone from September to December and here we are in, well, November's just finishing and we've already got things on the last chance list. And so people have been saying, gosh, it feels like, you know, there's not enough time with this new cat. We kind of have a new schedule and a new catalog. What I want to say is, and I don't know if this is what I should be saying, but I bought a few less things this time and I've been playing with them more and Oh my gosh, I have had so much fun with this um, suite of product, just with this combination that I'm showing. The red is open, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little, you know what, I'm going to do something fun in the corner. I'm going to do ho, 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 and then XO, XO, XO. Ho, 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 XO. XO. I just think that's fun. So um, I have just been having a really good time with honestly like doing these 12 weeks and I've been sticking with the same products. I've been really, really, really having a good time. So let's just do the last little bit of confetti. This blueberry bushel. Oh my gosh, is this a fun color. Oh my gosh, it's bright and happy. 
So, all right, there we have it. Let's get our two and a half inch piece of paper on. And you know what? I forgot that this is just those colors. Um, I may bring this stripe piece over instead. I think that's going to match better. I would have, if I thought about it, maybe just done the flamingo, the curry, the poppy, and the mambo um, confetti. So since I went a little bit broader, let's go with the stripe then. So, and honestly, even that yellow is kind of fun, but we're not. We're going to do the stripes. And we'll get that on here. So the wow part of this, I think, is the impact of it, right? So it, you can make a wow card with a lot of simplicity. You can keep it simple but impactful and get a lot of wow out of it. So I think, I think because it says ho, 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 I feel like we want to put a Santa's hat. So, and I'm getting this straight like that. And let's get this twine over here. Have it go through the Santa's hat. So we'll have a little ho, ho, ho. I've been making a list and checking it twice. I've got um, quite a few gifts. I think I'm gonna do, now that I finally have it all, I think I'm going to do a video I've been wanting to do since the beginning where I kind of show all the projects at once and I show some gifts, but I've really been um, putting together a nice collection of gifts and so I'm kind of putting my list together and checking it twice and thinking about who it's going to go to, who's been naughty and nice. Alrighty, so here's our Santa hat. And I'm going to put, I've been calling this a poof. I don't know what it's called, but I've been calling it a poof. I'm going to put the poof on with a dimensional. So we'll get that on. I've already sent one Christmas present. It's already been received and used. I sent, so my sister Doris was um, visiting her son and grandchildren and she got to see him for Thanksgiving. She's not going to get to see him for Christmas. So I sent them a box of tags, honestly, and they had fun making the box of tags. Not these, but like a Stampin' Up box of tags. Um, like, you know, a Stampin' Up kit. And so um, the Love Santa tags, they've been having fun with those. So, all right. Put the Santa hat right there. And then I'm gonna put a little poof right there. And I feel like I was gonna put the holly and berry, but I feel like I want the little heart on there. I think I'm gonna put a little heart. Where do you think? Like right there? I haven't done it before. Right there. I think right there, okay? That's the fun thing. You can get all these elements out and you can just mix and match and play and put things different places. Aww. Oh my gosh, ho, 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 XOXOXO. XO, XO. There's the love, very sweet. So what am I gonna do? I feel like this needs a little something over here. I do have some of these guys. You guys know me. I, oh, it's funny, I was talking to Terry one day and we were like, what's your trademark as a stamper? What's your trademark? And I said to her, what's my trademark? And she's like, your little bows. So how do I make this card without putting a little bow on it? They just always need a little bow. So we'll just put that right there in a couple little snips. And then, so you can take similar ingredients and then just mix and match and just have all kinds of colorful fun with this. So, um, oh, I forgot to put this on the card. So let's go ahead and do that. Now it's all done. We'll just glue it and put it on the card front. And probably put a ho, ho, ho on the inside. There we have it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, it's so cute and colorful and fun. Alrighty, so there you go. Same ingredients, but you can just mix and match and do just little different things, right? See here, I just did the crushed curry and then I kind of um, put the little berries on the on the berry. Here I decorated with some different gems. Here I used an oval punch um, just to give a little more interest over there. And then here, this is a completely different, this is in the same set. So when you get the stamps and the dies, you get the envelope stamp and then you get this die, which is a tag. Um, and then you can make um, a little a little tag out of it. Um, but it looks like it's a little letter for you. So, oh my gosh, just mix and match. Have fun to your heart's content. So thank you so much for joining and stay tuned. You are not going to want to miss the bag, the box, and the something fun. Um, and the bag next week features this guy. You know I have the box right here. I'll give you a little sneaky peek of the box. There's the box. And I'll tell you what goes in it. Okay, thanks. Bye.